yeah, making this vid to let you know that I'm uh, officially selling out of magic because um, I'm over here paying attention to what's going on in the market. And um, it's no question that this hobby um, <laughs> that we're in is, is completely fucking superior. Um, you know, if you don't have any like the Power 9 or the cars that really matter from those older vintage sets, you kind of like waste your time because I'm, I'm seeing the comparisons and this is actually funny It's not even really worth not even really um, funny to laugh at how the, the um, how drastic one market is compared to the other one making the other one look, look upside down but yeah I've been I got like uh, some very you know um, I don't have the big shit I don't, I don't admit you know I don't, like my little position I had in you know, some of the cars I was having like I'm over here watching like I had a OG um, Liliana from Innistrad it's been like $160 for the past eight years and I'm like I'm like what the fuck is going on you know and I'm talking about oh I'm going to pick up those sealed boxes and like Kaladesh and um, Aether Revolt I'm like man will you see this other shit I'm like fuck that that's like got to be the most retarded decision you got to make you know, um, and I was watching the video. It's like even this one dude, he had a, he um, he's been collecting for a while. He, he did a comparison. Like he he put, like, Urza Saga up against Team Rocket when he bought him, and one is is going up in value three times faster than the other one, or at least two times faster. You know, like um, so what's what's the fucking point? Well, let, let me check that to make sure that um. What you're saying was correct. Cause he had the info. Okay, that's a one box going for three three grand. But I'm like, tell me this product is just so old, uh, and you expect expect them to see um see them fetch certain numbers. Are you kidding me? Wait a minute. Well, this this is a joke, right? Nine grand. For a first edition Teen Rocket box, what? <laughs> what? What? what oh, oh, do you see this shit? This this is a fucking joke. Like, like why the fuck would I sell Flashfire for? Like, this shit. This shit is. It's, it's embarrassing. Like, to anybody that's like who's in that hobby, you no, know, I, I can't. I'm not even going to like. Uh, try to like uh shit on it because they because that power nine shit is just it's out of the question you know i can't even fathom trying to complete a set of that but when you see stuff like this this is laughable this is like the worst set like when you're when the the worst shit in your hobby scrapes the competition it just makes you want to laugh <laughs> but anyway uh i still got some cards and magic that i'll like never sell because i love the artworks but when you seeing crap like that, man, it's just, it's a no-brainer. Like, um, I got some things to pick up. Yeah, so I'm going up in value, and uh, I don't want to wait around for the last minute, and it just skyrockets, and, and it's just you know, completely just out of control. You can't even get it no more. I got a list I need to check off, and um, I'm going to get back to the, uploading another video. I got a package coming from fucking Canada, and because this, this nonsense is going on, I did not update update any of the information, so I don't know what I'm gonna get. And it's supposed to be, it's it's a notable part of the collection. But uh, I'll I'll get back to you later on that. Anybody out out there still in YouTube land watching these videos? <laughs> well, um, this is just for the hell of it. But yeah, let me know what you think about this shitty market. Uh, yeah, I need to get them get them get them um moving on my ass before these these prices go up. But yeah, um. Yeah, yeah, thanks.